Hey, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney and I'm a fragrance and flavor enthusiast. Here on my channel, we mostly explore fragrances, but I sometimes like to throw in other content here and there just for fun. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has viewed, liked, commented, shared, and subscribed. So today, uh, I will be sharing with you guys all of the fragrances in my collection that contain the note of strawberry. So... I have quite a few. I have quite a few. You know, I thought raspberry was a popular note, but I see that strawberry is definitely prominent in quite a number of the fragrances that I have. So I'm excited to share them with you. So what I'll be doing is sharing with you guys, as usual, the perfumes, oils, and fragrance mists that I have, but I think I'm gonna switch it up. I'm actually gonna do the perfumes first since I only have a few perfumes that feature the note of strawberry and then I'm gonna go into the fragrance mist and then we're gonna end with the oils. So let's get into it. So first up, we have a fragrance. I'm laughing because I talk about this so much. <laughs> but I'm not gonna just not include it just because I talk about it a lot. So the first perfume that I have for you guys is Signorita Viele by Fragranza, which if you've been watching me for any amount of time now, you know that this is a dupe for Miss Dior Cherie. <laughs> so the note of strawberry is featured in the top of this fragrance and yeah. So this is considered a, uh... actually let me confirm that, hold on. Okay, yes. So this does feature the note of strawberry, but it's more specifically wild strawberry that's featured in the top of this fragrance. And this is considered a Shiba fruity scent. And yeah, it's a very classy smelling scent that has a playfulness to it, which I think comes from all the fruity notes that are in this fragrance. But yeah, so this is a, a fruity yet classy scent featuring strawberry. So the next perfume I have is one that features strawberry in the mid. And the overall, I guess, style of this fragrance is a lot darker than the last. And this is none other than La Nuit Tresor by Lancome. And this is a a sweet, I would say, incense -y fragrance. Now, just keep in mind, what I found out was that um, the formula that came, I guess, okay, so 2015 is the original formulation, right? Which is the version that I have here. But it was reformulated at one point, and I think it lost a lot of those more complex notes. So the one I'm speaking about today is the original one that features way more notes than the ones that than the formulation that's available on the market now and like i said this is a sweet incense -y scent but i wouldn't say that strawberry is easily like distinguishable in this because yes there's a fruitiness to it but it's blended in a way that it's just how do I explain it? It's kind of just like, you wouldn't necessarily know what is in here unless you know what is in here, you know what I mean? And also I've got the body cream in this fragrance as well. This came in actually a travel set. So I do pair them together when I really wanna intensify the fragrance, but honestly on its own, this does its job. So that's La Nuit Tresor by Lancome. So last up for perfumes, we're going back to a more playful, light, super feminine scent. And that is Hanai Mori. And this is a girly, fruity, creamy scent that features no vanilla, but it has like a vanilla quality to it, which I guess is coming from the sandalwood note in here. But this does feature strawberry as one of the top notes. And yeah, this is super pretty, just super sweet, pretty, feminine, and deceptively strong, like deceptively powerful. Like even though it has those qualities that I mentioned, this is a long lasting scent, it projects. Oh, does it project? So yeah, you don't have to go heavy handed with this one, at least on me I don't, but this is a good one. So that's Hanai Mori by Hanai Mori. So next we'll be diving into the fragrance mists that I have and all of them are from Bath & Body Works. So first up we have none other than Strawberry Pound Cake, of course. So this is 
uh, strawberries and cream kind of scent. Now they say there's a, sh a shortcake note in here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but sure, sure. But it definitely pulls just more prominently that strawberries and whipped cream scent. And as a matter of fact, this is one of the few fragrances in my collection that I also have a matching body cream or lotion with. So yeah, it's that good. And also, this particular formulation, which I think is from maybe a couple releases ago, isn't the most long lasting or strong, but it does its job of smelling good and pretty and sweet. So yeah, strawberry pound cake. <laughs> so next up, I have a fragrance mist that I almost forgot to include on my list. I think, um, what allowed me to remember it is the color jumped out at me when I was going through all my uh, mist today while I was pulling everything for the video. And that is none other than Love Cotton Candy Champagne. So this features notes of bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. And yeah, yeah, just yeah. It has like a prominent cotton candy quality to it, but it also has like how do I explain it? Because it's kind of like, it's not just, it doesn't just smell like cotton candy. There is some sort of element to it that makes it a little bit more unique, but this is practically a cotton candy scent, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's a pretty one. It's fun. It's cute. It's love. <laughs> so next up, I have a fragrance mist that also pretty much features a note of cotton candy, except it's listed as strawberry spun sugar, and that is pink berry clouds. And this is a fragrance that has that super sugary, sweet, fruity scent about it, but it has a fresh air note that makes it a little bit more unique. And I think I mentioned before that this is, this is one of my favorites, but when oversprayed, it can get a little annoying, not only because of the sweetness, but also the strength of that like air note which sounds weird and very abstract, right? But when you smell it, this particular fragrance, you'll understand. <laughs> so that is Pink Berry Clouds. So next up, I have a fragrance mist that I actually wore recently to work out in, and it was absolutely perfect. It was sweet, fresh, sunny, happy, motivating. <laughs> and that is none other than Love and Sunshine. So I ended up getting this, purchasing this blindly, and actually, not only did I purchase this blindly, I purchased it with having no prior intentions of ever purchasing it. But I think what it was about this that made me just get it was that I saw the color and I figured why not? I don't really see this one talked about that much either. So this fragrance mist features the notes of sun-kissed daisies, sweet lemon, mara, strawberry, golden honeysuckle and sunshine musk. So this is like a floral strawberry lemonade to me. That's what this smells like to me. And it's awesome and super fun, super bright and just lovely whenever you need that kind of pick me up, you know? So that's love and sunshine. Apologies about the zooming. I see that it's like focusing back and forth. I'm not sure why. Actually, let me see if I can fix it, hold on. So the next fragrance mist that I have is one that also features an alcoholic note and that is triple berry martini and the notes in this one are pomegranate juice black raspberry liqueur and strawberry sugar so this one is one that smells kind of literally like an alcoholic drink to me not that it smells bad but i find myself second guessing how and when to wear this one even though i do enjoy it and there's a decent dent decent in here but this is pretty though and it has like a sparkly quality to it that I think just comes from the fact that it's like reminiscent of like I guess it would be a mart yeah martini is the name I was like like a martini forgot the name already but anyway uh yeah so this is a fun one I just imagine this being like a martini that has like pink sugar around the rim so cute but yeah that is triple berry martini. So the next mist that I have is one that I actually slept on for a while. And you know what? Reflecting, I was able to figure out why I wasn't into it. And it was the packaging. To be honest, 
the previous packaging to this particular release prior to it being in the faceted collection i didn't think it was that cute i thought it looked kind of dated so when i saw it in the faceted collection i was like okay it looks a little bit more refined let me see what it's saying and when i smelled it i was like wow <laughs> i like it i like it a lot and that is none other than mad about you so the notes listed in mad about you are black currant bright peony pink jasmine, white patchouli, and vanilla musk. Now, I know I didn't I didn't say strawberry, right? But the strawberry note is that I'm referring to is from, I think there was a perfume release of this fragrance. And um, based on Fragrantica, strawberry was listed as one, as one of the notes. So that's why I'm using this as, I'm including this in this video because I'm basing it off of that. And even just based on the scent and color alone, and just, I imagine there's more than just one, two, three, four, five notes, you know, to this. Cause this is relatively, it's simple, but there's a level of complexity here that I ain't buying that there's just five notes. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a fun one. It's a fruit truly for sure. And it's sweet, but it has like an almost is acidulous the right word? There's a certain like kind of acidity to it, not in an off-putting way to me, but like, I'm not sure if that's a black currant that's doing that, but I think that's what helps to like cut the sweetness. So it's not overpoweringly sugary or flowery. But yeah, this is a good one. So that is Mad About You. So the next mist is one that, okay, the reason why I got it is like split in half. One reason was because I'd never seen it before, never heard about it, and I was intrigued. And the second was second reason was that the packaging was just super cute. So that's Secret Wonderland. I just really like how it looks like, I'm pretty sure these are feathers up close and personal. But anyway, the notes listed in this scent are Luscious Strawberry, Frosted Jasmine Petals, and White Amber. And this is a, I would say the Secret Wonderland is one of the more mature leaning scents that I've smelled from Bath and Body Works. And I do like that. I do like to have a range and sometimes fruity scents can kind of come across a little bit maybe more playful. So it's cool to see it done in a way that's a little bit more, I wouldn't even say elegant, but just more mature in terms of how it comes across, which I really like. So that is Secret Wonderland. So next up, I have a fragrance mist that I definitely didn't buy into until I guess later on after maybe I wouldn't say hype I don't even know if there was ever like by the time I started caring I don't know if there was prior hype to the scent release um so who knows but I'm talking about you're the one and I think I'm not even entirely sure why I wasn't really into this one maybe I've said it in a previous video I'm not sure but right now I don't remember and the notes listed are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. So this is a peppery sweet scent to me, not like overpoweringly peppery or anything, but I definitely get like a peppery note, like a black pepper or most likely it's white pepper because it's not like overpowering or anything. And I think with this particular scent profile, I feel like white pepper would be more, um, not that it's more suitable, but more likely. So yeah, this is a, a sweet, fruity, peppery, slightly woody scent that has that floral undertone to it. That's really nice. Again, this is probably one of the more mature leaning scents that I have from Bath & Body Works, but I really do enjoy it. I, yeah, I do really like it. I do really like it. I think this kind of, smells a lot more expensive than it actually is this is definitely one of those that don't smell like uh you know something under 20 dollars but yeah so that's you're the one so the next fragrance mist is one that i've seen used to hmm how do i word this as man potion let's put it that way and it worked <laughs> that is velvet sugar <laughs> so this is a super sweet gourmand scent now on fragrantica the version that's that matches this packaging is pretty straightforward with the notes which i have right here 
So they're strawberry, sugar, plum, musk, custard, jasmine, and rose, right? But I'm pretty sure when I looked up the, I think it's the perfume version of Velvet Sugar that very well could have been like released at the same time as this. Yeah, let me see. It has like way more notes listed, like a whiskey note is here, tohu balsam, coffee, caramel. I'm just like, hold on. And you know, I could be mixing up different fragrances, which is very likely, but I think if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that I saw somewhere, at least I have a memory, which could be, you know, not the case as in, okay. So I have a memory that may or may not be based on fact that there's like a red velvet cake note in here. And if it's not this fragrance and it's another one from Bath and Body Works, I'll do my best to try to figure out which one that is. So like I said, this is a super sweet gourmand scent, super girly, super feminine, but it has like a, it's not like screechy to me. It's not like annoying, if that makes sense. You know, sometimes with super sweet scents, they have like a, like too much and it's kind of like irritating, but I wouldn't say that this has that quality to it, at least the way I spray it. But yeah, this is a really pleasant one that I really like and I'm glad to have it. And that is Velvet Sugar. So last up for the fragrance mist, I have one that I literally saw, right? Today when I was getting all of my selected uh, fragrance mist and I saw it and I'm like, I have no idea what the notes are in here but let me just put this in my basket and then I'll check to see if there's a strawberry note in here. And lo and behold, there is a strawberry note listed in here. So the mist I'm talking about is the Diamond Shimmer Mist in the scent Vampire Blood. And this was the Halloween release um, from 2021. And the notes that I found for this particular mist are Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, and dark Transylvanian plum. Extra as hell, but you know, it's funny, it's cute. So this particular scent is super fruity, super sweet. I would say it's not like the darkest scent I've ever smelled, but it's also not the brightest either. Um, but yeah, this is just a cute one that I have in my collection. Honestly, I, I don't think I've worn it more than once. And I just, I don't really do the shimmer mist thing. I feel like I would have to really experiment with the, this particular formulation of product because I want to figure out a way for it to, to make it work for me where it doesn't go all over the place, you know? But either way, this does smell really good. And it's not as like off-putting as perhaps the name may make it seem. So this is Vampire Blood in the Diamond Shimmer Mist formulation. <laughs> so yay now we're on to the oils which i'm super excited about because i think these will probably interest you the most because i don't think well what i was gonna say is i don't think most of these have been talked about like that but i guess that's kind of true y'all tell me what y'all think but i'll li li literally let's just get into it <laughs> so first up for the perfume oils that feature a note of strawberry is probably Maybe easy for y'all to guess. Do you think you can guess based on the fragrance mist? Because one of the notes mentioned quite a few times has itself shining in this particular scent. And if you can't guess, I'll just tell you, don't worry. So the scent is Pink Sugar by Aquilina. And this is a super sweet, um, potent fragrance that last a very long time and i know this is a perfume oil but when i've done my review research and check to see what people thought about the actual perfume spray i don't think i'm having a different experience from people who have used the perfume spray you know what i mean so this does feature a note of strawberry and i'm pretty sure it also features a note of cotton candy and that's the note i was talking about earlier and yeah super sweet super girly super long lasting 
it has like a fruitiness to it but it smells like totally like artificial <laughs> but this is just a fun one to wear when i feel like being very loud and like like not even like i guess the right word would be like ultra feminine but ultra girly but ultra loud this is something I gravitate towards. So that is Pink Sugar by Aquilino. So next up, I have a perfume oil that's an impression of a niche perfume. And the scent is Mula Mula from the house of Byron Parfum. And this is a, I would say a sweet, fruity, oody scent that features a note of strawberry. And strawberry is listed as one of the top notes. And this is a, this is one that I picked up because I wanted to familiarize myself with Oud at the time. And I learned that this would be a good introductory fragrance for that purpose. And I do really like it. I feel like the Oud in here isn't done in a way that smells dirty. I guess you could say like, it smells very, it pairs well with like the fruitiness and the sweetness of this. I wouldn't go as far as to say this smells like fresh or anything like that, but there is like a brightness to it, which I don't think the oud detracts from. You know what I mean? So that is Mula Mula from Byron Parfum. So next up, I have a perfume oil that's a dupe of a popular fragrance from the house of Marc Jacobs, and that is none other than Daisy. And strawberry is featured. And strawberry is featured in the top notes here. So even though Daisy isn't listed as one of the notes, strawberry is. <laughs> so this is a, um, I would say a fresh floral scent. Now it doesn't smell clean, right? But it smells very like bright and uplifting, and happy. And you know, I wouldn't necessarily consider this to be a fruity floral just because of how fresh it smells to me but this is definitely an easy reach fragrance if you ask me because it's just so like I'm not entirely sure of you know the entire list of notes but there's a simplicity to it that makes it so pleasant and you know what's also kind of weird and I don't think I'm the only one that thinks this because I think I saw this somewhere else after I thought about it this kind of smells like banana to me. And I have no idea why. And the reason why I figured that out was because I would like, I think I used to be allergic to bananas, right? And um, I would get this weird sensation in my throat that would only happen when consuming bananas. And when I smelled this, and even almost just now too, that sensation came back and then it reminded me this sometimes smells like bananas and not even just bananas banana peels like the inside of banana peels is what this scent kind of reminds me of which reminds me of well not only the video where i sh share like scents that smell like random things i'll have the video linked above but i have a lot more scents that i've encountered that smell like random things so there may be a part two of that video coming because this just reminded me like how randomly this smells like banana peels. Anyway, Daisy by Marc Jacobs. <laughs> so next up, I'll be sharing three perfume oils that come from the company Land of Oz. And since we were just talking about bananas, I have the first perfume oil here that features the note of banana. And it has, I'm trying to think of a joke here, but I'm just gonna tell you what it's called. It's called monkey farts. <laughs> monkey farts. <laughs> and this is a very sweet fruity scent that Pretty much just smells predominantly like strawberry banana to me which i like so this is just a fun playful almost soapy scent you know now that i'm picking smelling it it's not like super clean bar soap smell but there is a soapiness to it which is nice so yeah it's i really did get it mostly for the name but then also the notes were quite cute as well this is like a really fruity playful scent so yeah Monkey farts. <laughs> so next up, I have a perfume oil that is also from Land of Oz, but it's an impression of a Lush fragrance. So this is Sweet Dreamer, and this is an impression of American Cream by Lush. So this is a, I would say a berries and cream scent, but elevated and aromatic. 
and it features the note of big strawberry and i learned that there is a difference between just well there are different you know varieties of strawberry but the specific strawberry in here is big strawberry so like i said it's a berries and cream kind of scent i think there's sandalwood in here there are just other notes in here that just make it smell more than just smell like more than just your typical like generic berries and cream scent so that is sweet dreamer so the last land of oz scent that i have for you guys is berry naughty and the berry note listed here are red berries right and based on just that alone and i think the image that was associated with it and strawberries being included in that and me just smelling it now i'm pretty sure there's strawberry in here <laughs> But yeah, this is a fun one. The super very prominent. There's like an almost greenness to it as well. So again, it's not just like a typical generic berry scent. There is something to it that makes it a little bit more unique. And I do really like it. This is good for layering as well. So that is very naughty. You see what they did there, right? <laughs> so the last two perfume oils that I have to share with you guys come from the same company and that is Sugar Milk Co. So first up, we have the Donut Shop, which is literally one of the best donut scents I've ever smelled. I was going to make a joke about other than, you know, a real donut, but I decided not to say it. <laughs> but I guess I just did. So. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. So the notes listed are fried dough, strawberry jam, there's vanilla, I'm pretty sure it's vanilla icing and then also like sugary sprinkles. So good. It has like that tart, sweet quality that you get from like strawberry jam. And that's, that's leading this uh, perfume oil for sure. Oh man. So good, so sweet. Now, I feel like I can pick up on all the notes listed, maybe not so much the sprinkles note, but the, the fried doughness is like in there, but it's not like, it doesn't lead the scent. Like I said, the strawberry jam really is at the forefront of this uh, fragrance to my nose. And it's so good. To be honest, do I dare say this? I prefer this over strawberry pound cake and raspberry jam donut, but only because the, this smells more, literal to me if that makes sense doesn't make the uh, the strawberry pound cake or the raspberry jam donut from bath and body works bad at all i love those scents but sometimes i do genuinely just like to smell and smell like completely edible and that's why i enjoy this one so much so that is the donut shop from sugar milk co so the last perfume oil i have for you guys is touted as not only a perfume oil for your body but also for your hair which i think is awesome and that is the seven wonders from sugar milk co and i've really been since i cut like all of my hair off i've really been gravitating towards i've gravitated towards using this and i think what i like about it so much is now that like you know my scalp is pretty much all out all the time and this being on my scalp and then the heat for my body and the smell of this, which is so good, perfection. And it also makes my hair shiny, so I'm just like, yeah, perfect. So yeah, so it's called Seven Wonders because it features seven oils, and the oils are jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, rice oil, argan oil, olive oil, castor oil, and babuso, babusu, babasu oil, babasu oil. And the scent notes are st street strawberry, sweet strawberry, frosted jasmine petals, magical notes of white amber and creamy sandalwood. Yeah, this is some good stuff. This is, this is like, what I find about this, right? When I smell it, I'm like, oh, this is so sweet and fruity. And then it just like reels back in. I think that's because of the amber note, which I think that happens a lot with amber, I noticed. When it's paired to my nose, when I smell it paired with, when I smell amber paired with any other fruity notes or sweet notes, I find that before the sweet notes get, have the ability to finish being registered by my brain, I'm reeled back in because of the amber note, which is fine. 
So what I'm getting at is it never gets too sweet to me. Mm -hmm. And it smells really good. And it doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before, which also makes this awesome to wear on my head because then that helps me smell even more unique than I already do, you know, with my layering and obviously body chemistry. But yeah, so that is the Seven Wonders from Sugar Milk Co. So yay! That was probably longer than I think both of us expected to be, but that's fine. That was really fun. <laughs> so yeah, that was awesome. I, again, I really didn't realize until like actually like compiling my list how much strawberry scents I had, but I'm here for it. I, I love the note. I'm so excited about wearing most of these, especially as spring approaches, right? So let me know down below what strawberry scents in your collection you gravitate towards. And if you don't have any, which strawberry scents that's out there in the world are you ready to get your nose on? Let me know, I'm curious. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you later. Bye. Oh boy. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. Okay. I feel sweat dripping all over my body. <laughs> Oh yeah. Like what? What did I say? Next. I guess I'll do it like that. So the nest the nest. So the next mist is a fragrance mist that I what time is it? I was like, if I'm not recording. <laughs> Anything in my feet. So next up, I. Hmm? Hmm? It? There you go. So last up for fragrance. So for. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not picking my nose. I'm fixing my nose. Right, leave me. <laughs> what is on my eye? So the last perfume oil I have for you guys is anything. 